What's up, people? It's your man, Chef from Off the Dome, back in for another quick video. Today, here we talk about Brittany Griner. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a big thing with her. Uh, if you haven't read up on the story by now, I believe Russia has kept her detained. She's been tried and convicted, and some people say it's a plea deal. Some people say that she was convicted. I believe it's probably a plea, and I think she was sentenced to nine to eleven years. So overall. My reaction to this is two things. One, it's not a. Some people, it's a very mixed topic. Some people are laughing, saying, "Well, she get what she deserved." Some people are saying that's messed up. You know, protect black women, Black Lives Matter. My take on this is this: It is unfortunate that she has to serve nine years for a drug possession. However, there are people in this country who serve messed up, jacked up sentences for drug possession in the past and the present, and maybe in the future. Now. Do I think it's fair? No. Unfortunately, she's in Russia, which is a totally different country. A lot of people still don't understand that Russia is not a, it's not the same structure as our society. They may have a president, they may claim they're democratic, but the truth is they're not. Them, China, and some other nations are put on a front like they have more of a republic or democracy type system, but for real, they're still dictatorships. So let's get that clear. At the end of the day, Russia is one of those very cruel places that you don't want to visit, you don't want to travel to, you don't never want to go. Now, Brittany, she worked there. She worked there, of course. Yeah, she worked. I'm sorry. This ambulance got to go. She worked there for, for many, many years, I believe, in the WNBA. She knew the laws and all the good stuff. And unfortunately, she thought she was above the law. A lot of people saying if that was LeBron James or if that was James Harden or if that was Steph Curry, you're right. But the problem is you have to know who you are. Me being an average Joe going to any foreign country, let alone a place that with a shaky history like Russia, you know, it's going to be like, I'm going to, first of all, I wouldn't be going there, but second, I'm going to be on my P's and Q's. You see Dennis Rodman, he probably smokes some drinks when he goes to North Korea with Kim Jong-un. Dennis Rodman is a superstar basketball player. Brittany Griner. The matter of fact is, unfortunately, she's not well known. And to the story, a lot of people didn't know who she was. I didn't have heard. I never heard of her until around, like I believe, 2020, during the Black Lives Matter protests. I believe people mentioned that she supported them. That's the first time I ever heard of her. I heard of L.A. Lakers Candace Sparks. I believe I heard of her, but other than that, I haven't heard of this woman ever in my life. And this year is the most I've ever heard of her. So one, she doesn't have that, you know. She doesn't have that name recognition. When you have somebody that's a big global superstar, someone of decent note, they get away with some stuff. Like, you know, if Drake was to go over there or, if, like I said, one of the basketball players were to go over there and get in trouble with LeBron James, Steph Curry, etc. If a major movie star, woman or male, Scarlett Johansson, Tom Hanks, Denzel Washington, etc. was to go over there and get in trouble, there's a good chance they might have some type of connection to get them back. The U.S. might give them money to get them back. They might have their team convince somebody to get them back. However, Brittany Griner is not that woman. She doesn't have a name recognition. She's in an unfair country where there's crooked, lopsided laws. Even though she's somewhat of a celebrity, it doesn't matter. She's not famous enough. She doesn't have enough power or stroke. And they try to do the fair trade with the Russian arms dealer. Come on now. Trading a freaking Russian spy for a WNBA player who is not even well known. It's not even a fair trade when it comes to the global national scale. So... I wish the best to Brittany. I hope she'll have to do the whole nine years. I hope there's some way you get her out. However, I feel like there's no solution in the near future, and she may have to tough this one out. And if that's the case, it is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you think. Do you think Brittany will be getting out? Do you think she's going to stay for the whole nine? I don't think she's going to do the whole nine. However, I do think she's going to do a few years. I think she's going to do maybe four or five. I don't have confidence that she'll be doing the whole nine, but I don't have confidence that they'll have her out before Christmas. Mr. Man Chef from Off the Dome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.